so guys uh, this is my take as an army on the controversy of james corden and the un summit joke on bts that happened so i think as an army we should be a force of positivity around the world and be a flag post of what bts represents it kind of the bts represents a youth energy they represent youth and uh, our concerns i think my drop and do park and the songs of gen songs of this generation for the indonesian people we connect to it in a very different manner than any other thing and then also the i mean let's not talk about the songs like <laughs> right now uh, yeah so about the controversy so um, in my opinion we should focus on bringing the good in people and uh, turning everything into a positive thing like we did about uh, the jungkook uh, poster being uh, taken down in pakistan yeah that was handled pretty well i liked how uh, people donated to lgbtq cause causes so instead of an outrage it would be great if we could uh, spot and channelize our energy into uh, breaking down and removing this differences that are bringing uh, these kind of jo jokes into a normal thing because you know james agreed to saying these things on camera which means a certain amount of people behind the scenes th uh, thought that this is okay even though james uh, says he's an army i don't know how much of that is because of their just uh, bts being a popular group or uh, because of that they are a popular group and he needs that viewership as well so was he just being a good tv host when he said that was he just a good hype man when he said that uh, he supports B A bts and he's an army or does he really understand the army uh, that's a different thing i mean it shouldn't even matter uh, because i don't think uh, he does or otherwise uh, he wouldn't have called it an unusual uh, event when bts goes to un uh, why because it's not unusual for celebrities to go and talk to uh, un summit and be a special envoys at the un uh, it's unusual for a performance to happen it's very unusual but um before bts there was never a uh, k pop uh, idol group there so uh, i think leonardo dicaprio is not gonna go on stage and break into the act of uh, titanic or, or wolf of wall street that's not possible but um, their art form for bts it's very easy to perform and emulate there so that's what they did they performed and uh, that garnered garnered lot of attention and views and brought the message of you into a lot of people uh it's sad that angelina jolie and uh, leonardo dicaprio or uh, other actors can't do the same but uh, they get called in un summits from time to time so it's not unusual that uh, another celebrity group was there uh, yes they will be there because they are famous and UN wants attention and UN wants to generate an interest uh, from a group that uh, these uh, idols are famous in uh, their uh, demographic of an army uh, is what they want their UN message and their uh, PR to work on so that's why they called BTS there and it's uh, actually a great move from UN's part to in, uh, include an Asian artist group it was a big moment for all Asians to see uh, our people there right but uh, for westerners who really don't <laughs> don't kind of value uh, Asians or 
Asian people on the same level as them and at the same time uh, they don't understand or consider uh, Asian art as a legitimate or good art they found it problematic and that's why they called it an un unusual thing why is it okay that uh, Leonardo DiCaprio or Angelina Jolie when they visit it's a fine visit but when BTS visits it's kind of an awkward thing why is it uh, that's because there is a difference there is a, a underlying uh, racism that we face and as an army we should find a peaceful and a positive way to tackle that and remove it uh, not just complaining about it and uh, targeting James Corden because James Corden was literally just telling a joke we don't know who wrote this joke we don't know who uh, signaled this joke who passed this joke as an okay to be said on screen there is a lot of stuff that goes behind camera and as an army we know a lot of stuff that, that goes behind camera because we are always on be live watching them but um, yeah so many managers and people uh, passed and grinned it this joke to be said so if they thought it was okay but we didn't find it okay there is a miscommunication and misunderstanding there is a veil of certain underlying racism that we need to fight that's what i feel but i don't think it's uh, such a bad joke that we should cancel a person because of it or blacklist a person because of it that's my view on the first punch about unusual thing that bts visited the union now comes the second punch which was that 15 year old old girls finding it uh, being jealous of the old grumpy guy <laughs> uh, who is uh, head of the un right now so i don't think it was an oh um like uh, it wasn't a said in negative way like people talk about justin bieber and his fan being 15 year old girls or him being a 15 year old girl uh, i think that was not the tone of this joke this joke was just uh, he chose to say 15 year old girls because uh, of creating the stark contrast between a 15 year old girl and a really old and grumpy looking guy that is what the joke came from like you need that for comedy the stark contrast that's why he chose that line so i don't think that is problematic i and he is an army too right he claims himself to be an army and uh, even when uh, in these two jokes in between he did mention that un people would be quite surprised to see 15 million views on their videos of uh, uh, the speeches because uh, uh, it's not uh, really uh, it's unprecedented for UN uh, to get that many views and they would be quite surprised because they don't get any views all the views are coming from uh, BTS fans and he gets that and they get that and that's what he said in between those jokes that UN will be quite stumped with the amount of views they are going to get. So he was praising BTS as well. But it's just the unusual thing that is bugging me a lot. I don't think it is something that uh, uh, he, he deserves to be cancelled on or blacklisted on. Uh, we should, uh, as an army, we should be a fo force of positivity, not negativity. So let's find a way to reduce the racism that is underlying in our society on a second thought i think is it really racism or would he have called it an unusual event if instead of bts uh, someone like i mean someone like uh, miley cyrus or other singer was visiting 
but in that aspect also if adele has visited had visited you and instead of uh, bts he wouldn't have said it unusual and i'm quite sure of that if it was miley it would have he would have called it unusual but i get the audience of miley and the art she represents it's kind of not the standard bureaucratic version of art that's not the same with bts bts is about youth energy and positivity as i've said earlier so i don't think yeah i'm i'm sure now i'm i'm sure that he wouldn't have said unusual uh, thing if it were for any other uh, western artist so because even though they are popular and even though they do top the charts uh bts is still an outsider in western media and uh we are still outsiders in western media even though we consume a lot of content of theirs uh so we should be aware of that and we should be aware of our content choices um and that's what i think so let me know what you think and comment down below your thoughts on this whole thing i think we shouldn't cancel him but uh, it's not cancel worthy thing i think he is still an army he was a good hype man on his show for bts he was really a good hype man for them on his show and their whole episode where they throw uh, water balloons at them and <laughs> jin uh, jin's reaction is so memeable it's kind of etched into my brain that whole uh, episode <laughs> james i am not scared <laughs> the way jimin said it i still remember it like uh, i think that show has done a lot of good for bts in western media <laughs> uh that's my favorite episode so we should be happy that uh we had that and let's hope that we get more such good moments on his show from bts um and just hope that these negativities do go away because even though james is an hype man and an army we don't know why he is an army is it just because of the views and his, their popularity is he just being a good host by being a fan of uh, the group that comes in and being very welcoming or does he truly understand us we don't know but uh, let's not cancel him let's try to bring light to this underlying racism and combating that and move ahead with more positivity and more force we are an army and we can do it so that's it bye